FCS All-America choice this week. He'll play a big role in how that run game is orchestrated. Throw here to the near side, and Nelson, an early catch, tackled short of the first down. Fifth in FCS and third down conversion. Lipke, the fullback. He'll take the toss and crash for the first down. From North Dakota State's 49, pressure coming. Miller got to elude it, cannot green the sack. Registering his fifth sack of the year. Yeah, the All-American gets the offensive guard moving, makes him move his feet, and is able to get outside on this play. That's where he, he can do the most. When he can pass rush on the outside, get up the field. He has yet to play in these FCS playoff contests for Matt Entz. Play fake to Merrick Williams. Here's Miller on a rollout. Shoots it down the field. Catch made, Phoenix Sproles, nephew of the former Pro Bowler, Darren Sproles, and he stretches for a first down. Caught his first pass of the year last week in the victory against East Tennessee State. Miller, backside throw, catch Lipke, and scores! They go on the board first. And it's the fullback, Big Hunter Lipke from Spencer, Wisconsin, who stakes NDSU. In the process, sets the single season receiving yards record. That's 1,208 now on Wells' first catch tonight. And in trouble, Johnson will be sacked. He has to fill the eternal clock. He can't hold the ball that long. I think that he can have protection. Those guys up front are trying to get to him. He has to feel that and get the ball out a lot faster. Their very first meeting ever inside the Fargo Dome. Here's Miller going to offer up another ball down the field and a leaping catch by D.J. Hart. Right now, so confused with all these personnel packages that they have in the game that they're losing sight of receivers. On that play, they just ran a simple crossing route on that play. And he's wide open. Second catch of the year with Lipke in the backfield. And Patterson's going to keep it. And Quincy Patterson drives it inside the 35. And a big first down for NDSU before Sam Kidd gets him on the turf. 46 yarders twice for a season best. And this kick is away. And clean. One and the only loss in the postseason. These guys right here, JMU taking care of business back in 2016. So perhaps a little bit of a revenge game. And you guys were down here on the sideline. Second down and seven for Johnson. A play fake to Palmer. Johnson looking deep, throwing for the end zone. Intercepted. Dawson Weber. Third pick of the year. By Weber. First incompletion of the ball game for Johnson is just his third interception of the year. For the interception. First and ten now. Here is Thornton or uh, Patterson at quarterback. Quincy stepping up in the pocket and he'll be sacked. The Dukes busted up with Bryce Carter. That's his penetration up there. This is not really a, a pass blocking offensive line. You get those guys and make them move their feet. You can get around the corner with a tight end. That's a tight end on a really good defensive end. We welcome you back to the Fargo Dome. Hunter Lipke, who's got the touchdown catch, and gets the carry on first down. Lipke, a cutback. Big fella steamrolls into Madison territory. Boy, we heard a lot about the run game. Fran used to do back in the day. Well, this is exactly what you see, a Tom Raffman-esque type of player. You can put him anywhere, and you can put him at the running back position. He can take it downhill. 20-yard field goal. And it is perfectly through with three seconds. Now down to two seconds left to go before the half. It's going to open up the pass. Van Horse in the backfield with Johnson. Buying time to his right. Now going to run with it and has plenty of room. First down and more. And Cole Johnson takes a slide. You know, I saw this in the... I saw this in the game they played last week. He was able to evade pass rush and really make some big, big plays with him running. It was on an RPO run plays. Kurt Signetti's team, second and short. Quick throw across the middle. It's caught, and Wells slips into the end zone for the touchdown. Great, great call on that. Just a little slant play. Caught those safeties in the box. Bracket him that play. He just ran a slant route, and he was open up. 
Watch a little slant route one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. That's not the best matchup that you want on your best wide receiver. A linebacker on a slant route with Wells, one of the premier guys in FBS football as far as the donuts. Oh, my goodness. The mayor, Anish Shroff, helping us out immensely. That is blocked and deflected away. And James Madison has made a huge special teams play. And all of a sudden now, this Fargo Dome crowd sees James Madison with their best field position. They're yeah, right up the middle. They run a little switch stunt, and he runs right up unimpeded to block. James Madison trying to take the lead for the first time tonight. Johnson for the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Ravenel. Ran a little choice route on the outside. By Revenel on that play. He runs inside, fakes inside, goes outside, creates that separation. And they do by a point as we welcome you back. Miller on first down to start the frame, and it's Lipke again. Big catch by Lipke. And into James Madison territory to the 26, and Sam Kidd the tackle. These personnel packages. Throw. Yes, it was. He's out there by himself. His ability to play all different areas in offense. 144 total yards for Lipke. Miller going to throw for Lipke again. Touchdown. <laughs> Dirt in the details after the second touchdown catch of the night for Hunter Lipke. Beautiful throw from Miller. North Dakota State back in front. And play with consistency. JMU four for eight. Johnson on third down. Up in the pocket. And he goes down. Tony Pierce, the defensive end, got a hand in there. They allowed him to get out in the rushing lane and get crucial first down yardage. That, this time they rushed and closed the pocket in on Johnson, which kept him from running away on a play. The ninth play of the drive. Special teams, we got to watch the fake on this play. All hands on deck. O'Kelly. Trying to pin North Dakota State inside its five, and they will. Boy, that is well done. Ten minutes to go in this semifinal. We expected a heavyweight fight, and these two are delivering tonight in Fargo. March on to Frisco in search of an eighth national championship. High formation, they'll give it again. Burrowing left side is Lipke. First down and more out across the 15. Toward the 17 goes Hunter Lipke. In that play, he fell for a first down. That's just playing outside zone stretch play. He gets in behind his tight end. JMU from its 32. And the first down give is Palmer. First down and more out of bounds at the 49-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17. You know, I don't understand why they're playing the ends like that. They're rushing them up the field knowing that they're trying to run the ball. After the timeout, third down. Play fake. Johnson wants to throw. Shoots it to the far side. Van Horst the catch. First down. 25, 20, 15, and taken down out of bounds near the 12-yard line by Dawson Weber. That's a great read by Cole. He hits the running back from out of the backfield, out on the wheel route, and he was one-on-one -on -one by himself. Johnson again looking, pressure coming, throws, end zone. Oh, my goodness! What a pick! Destin Talbert, a sensational interception. I would do the same thing. I would take one-on-one -on -one with my big-time receiver, go one-on-one -on, -one on that, expecting my receiver to go up and make a play. That is the right read for Cole. Johnson dropping back again. Now going to bail. Cut it loose and caught. Stepping out of bounds, Bracey. Johnson looking, dancing, stumbles, tackled inbounds. Third down clock running. Five seconds left. Could be the final play. Johnson looks. Hit as he throws. Ball game over. North Dakota State. Goes to Frisco.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.